I'm gonna put a little light switch right here on the post. Come check it out. shop building a headboard for our bed so um, what you guys have not seen so far is uh, how I got this wood uh, went up to our mill and milled um, a bunch of wood here and this is juniper um, and I'm making this headboard for Sarah's and mine bed it's gonna um, go um, on the back behind our bed and so it's gonna be uh, these two posts on either side and then have horizontal boards going across it and then a kind of trim around it and uh, the hope is to put some lights in it and so I got this wood milled and then I just sanded a bunch of it down and got a lot of the boards cut out and so now we're working on finishing sanding and gonna start assembling the headboard. So I'm sanding these boards down and I got them uh, pretty much all sanded down but as you can see I milled these boards on our mill so I don't know if you can see it but there's saw blade marks along these boards and I decided I'm gonna leave those saw marks because I think it looks kinda cool um, makes it look a little more rustic and rough cut but just sanding them down so they're smooth and this board's gonna be the bottom trim board so that's what the sheets and the pillows are gonna be up against so I'm gonna router Round the edges off so they'll be rounded so none of our sheets or pillows will catch on them. They're pretty smooth, and I got the two posts here. Uh, they're all smooth, and now I'm gonna lay them out and start putting the boards on the back. Okay, I got the boards laid out, <clears throat> and uh, this is the back side, and then I'm gonna flip it over and put the trim around. So I got it flipped over and um, just set the trim boards in um, to kind of get an idea of what it looks like and the cap that will be on the top and then this board will be cut to length the fit down here at the bottom but it's starting to look pretty good I'm excited and pleased with the way it's turning out so I have the headboard um, mostly put together. I just need to put the um, top on, which is this board right here. This will be the top. And what I want to do is make a groove in the top uh, so it'll be right up under here. And I'm going to put some LED strip light in it. 
and reseed it up in there so that you won't be able to see it but I'm gonna put a little light switch right here on the post so we could just turn the switch and this side will come on and then have a switch over here turn that switch and this side can come on so uh, Sarah and I will each have our own little reading lamp and we can turn ours on and off so what I'm gonna do is take this strip lighting uh, just generic it's pretty cheap uh, strip lighting hey guys so we got this scrap old wire we're gonna use uh, electric drill to untwist the wire here we go it's untwisting all of it same way Okay, so I cut out my holes right here, popped out right here, and I got a switch here. You can see I, I cut this out and this out so that the switch sits flat in inside their white piece right here that goes around the switch it is about a... a three sixteenths to an eighth of an inch so I'm gonna make a, a wood plate that goes over this this top board I'm I got right here and I'm gonna cut some grooves in it to lay the strip lighting in Come check it out. Whoa. That's cool. Is it mounted to the wall? No. Are you going to mount it to the wall? Yeah. Probably just put a screw in. Let's see. That's cool. They're really bright. Yeah. Brighter shut, than I... Shut all these off because I'm curious how... Oh yeah. It can be the book. That's a lot of light. Yeah. It's plenty enough. But it's not like too bright, right? Yeah. Because I feel like... And if you like... Sit up in bed. Custom wood, wood plated yeah, light cool. switch covers. Really like if you switches. like sit up in bed, it's not. You're my hero. Like you're not gonna be like this, looking at the LEDs. It's like perfect. And then if you shut it off, that's plenty dark over here for me to sleep. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. I love it. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> I think it looks good. I don't think it's too dark. 100% of... handcrafted. Juniper. And then I did, uh, I routered this all off and sanded it more so it shouldn't, looks nice. it shouldn't grab the sheets or. Okay. So that's about all the footage we got for the headboard. Um, sorry about it being so choppy there at the end um, but sometimes you just get into a project and then and then you don't realize you didn't film in any of it so um, we actually had a interesting time carrying uh, the headboard upstairs um, in Jake's house and getting it up the stairs and after we got it upstairs we were like man we should have filmed that because uh, it's pretty heavy solid uh, piece of wood so we were hoping we weren't going to have to take it apart in order to get it upstairs and we were able to get up there in one piece. We actually had to flip it upside down uh, to get it um, through a couple of the parts. Um, yeah, this is a, a shot of some of the snow runoff um, in the creek and uh, we've just been getting a lot of the snow um, is melting and um, we're kind of rolling into spring here and getting ready for that. We we've got some baby cows here on the ranch, and um, so we got a video of the cows, um, of the calves um, that we'll have here coming up pretty soon. And 
just want to say thanks again for all you guys who have subscribed and who uh, like and comment on our videos. It's great to hear what you guys are thinking. And if you haven't done so yet, uh, check out our Instagram. We try to post something every day. Sometimes it's just little clips from our videos, but um, in our Instagram stories and stuff, we share a little bit more of our lives. So if you want to see more um, and kind of get some previews of our videos to come, uh, check us out on Instagram. Uh, it's just Axe Fam, and uh, we will talk to you guys later. So hats off to you guys.